Okay, so there's just one more um, database that I want to draw your attention to uh, that I find helpful. So yeah, I already have it typed in here, but uh, it's called Google Scholar. And if you go through the U of R library uh, to find Google Scholar, uh, it just gives you um, more access to full text articles. Uh, so we'll just go through there. And if we do the same kind of search for our topic, so we want adolescence and uh, fast food, we can do our search here. Uh, yeah, so you get a lot of um, links here. So these are all links to the full text. But again, you can uh, easily find a lot of different articles uh, through Google Scholar and find ones that you might find interesting. So this one sounds kind of interesting to me. So factors influencing food choices of adolescents findings from focus group discussions with adolescents. So that one, you know, if I was writing a paper, maybe I would want to uh, talk about some of the factors that influence food choices. So that one sounds like something I would be interested in reading more about. Uh, so yeah, when I clicked on it, it gave me uh, direct access to the full article here. So again, I can download the PDF and uh, have that full article here. Uh, there's other also recommended articles. So there, if this one was in, uh, in, you know, interesting and I liked it, uh, you can also find other ones here. Uh, and if you scroll all the way down, there's also um, a work cited for every article, right, that you are studying. So these sources might also be helpful. So, you know, this article is citing, um, you know, uh, other studies and you might want to find that article uh, through Google Scholar as well. So again, you can track down more articles or more resources uh, by looking at the works cited page or reference page for the articles that were helpful for you. So that's another good tip. Um, but yeah, I would read through this article. This one looks really good. So this is what I would probably um, maybe read this one and decide, uh, you know, how I want to use or organize the information that I, I gain from this one. Um, if I'm going to use this one, again, I have to make note of the author's names uh, who are, in this case, four different authors who I need to cite uh, when using any information from this article. Okay, so these are just some ideas for you to uh, get started with your searches. Um, I hope you have good luck. And um, if you're having, you know, troubles finding articles, try switching up your, your key terms. Uh, use the key terms that are suggested to you um, with the subject searches on the library homepage. And uh, don't be afraid to uh, look at the works cited in an article and, or the reference pages and see what other articles are out there about this subject.